This video, the fourth in the Golden Ratio cropping series, is the second video suggesting cropping uses, hence volume two, and the last time I'll draw attention to this numbers confusion. So let's get started in Photoshop. So far, we've mostly been using only the Golden Ratio, Rule of Thirds, and the Golden Spirals. In this video, we'll explore the ovals and pentagrams as well. To save time, I've prepared two Photoshop files with the overlays already embedded. If you need to review exactly how to add overlays, see either of the first two videos. But for a quick review, you just simply go to File, uh, Place Embedded, find the overlay you want to use, uh, select it, and then just place it. And, and once you place it, there's some manipulations and so forth you, you'll be doing. But uh, as I say, both of those are covered in the first two videos. This image, taken at Blue Cypress Lake from the magnificent Middleton's Fish Camp, was intentionally drastically underexposed to the point of almost night, and I didn't compensate for the misreading the camera would give because of the morning sun. So I've added a curves layer of brightness here, and hopefully you'll be able to see it a little better. You could probably tell by all of the dust bunnies and so many other clues that these videos are definitely not about the photos. We all have better photos, but these were close at hand and seemed good enough as examples to convey the message. You can see that I started with the golden ratio layer, as usual, and if we turn it on here, you can see I have a reposition for cropping with the top line on the horizon. We've talked about cropping being the second opportunity to remove extraneous elements, uh, the first, of course, being in the taking stage of the photo. Certainly the tree is the jackpot, and I like some of this darkness down here in the water, and of course the reflection of the tree in the sun. The blown out part of the sun didn't seem so important, so I, I let it go in favor of the, the reflected version. Could have kept them both, of course, but uh, I chose not to. I also kind of like this uh, section of movement from the upper left, but if I, if, I, if I select the Move tool here at the top of the icon, or the, the top icon on the toolbar list, or just use the keyboard shortcut V, and then make sure we're on the layer, the golden uh, ratio layer. We can move that along this horizon here to the left side, but then the tree kind of comes uncomfortably close to the middle. So, as my guitar playing friend Joe Segan would say, the juice just ain't worth the squeeze. So, uh, we'll keep it along this uh, left edge uh, of the image. Now, we'll keep that layer turned on and add this second layer, the golden, the golden spiral layer. And you can see it, it immediately urges us to move the uh, the golden ratio layer slightly left. It's probably something, if we look step back in the history there, we'll probably notice that I inadvertently uh, moved this a little too far to the edge. So this uh, golden ratio, we're on that layer. Make sure the, the V tool is, is still selected as it is. And we could just move it over to, uh, to accommodate, line up the lines there, and we're, we're back on space. To show this third overlay, the oval overlay, we'll first turn off these two the bottom here and then we'll turn it on making sure that we also select that layer and in case we want to move it or anything uh, now we can see with how I have it repositioned that these three ovals highlight the golden section within the image if this lowest oval is counted as one the second one is 1.618 then if the second one is one the third one is 1.618 don't you just love how how math can sometimes make the simplest things sound complex now let's turn off the ovals here and, and just take a look at the golden spiral layer here. Uh, we can see that the energy that, that comes in from the sun and is at the top of this tree, the whole energy of the photo is centered nicely there once we crop it this way. And it, and it includes the, uh, the reflection. All the elements that we wanted are, are here and the horizon is lined up uh, nicely that way. So let's uh, hit the C key, shortcut, or go to this tool over here and make sure that we're on a three to two ratio and then we just uh, we just get the the corners to the corners uh, more or less and we commit that once we do and uh, move it slightly and we commit that then by hitting enter and that will uh, crop us there and then we want to make sure that all the uh, the other layers will keep the the lightened one on but all the other layers are off all the overlay layers are off and, uh, and we'll save this to compare it later with the original. Uh, we'll save it as a JPEG, of course. And there we go. 
Save that, and now let's uh, take a look at the second image. All right, in this vertical image of the same tree, I have uh, three overlays already layered here, uh, this time with the pentagram on top of the golden ratio and the ovals. And if we click on the first layer, the, the, the golden ratio layer, we can see that I've lined it up with the horizon. Well, maybe not exactly here. Maybe we should move it up slightly. So we'll, we'll highlight that layer, make sure we're using that one. Uh, select the V or the Move tool by hitting keyboard shortcut V for Victor Wooten or use this uh, top icon here and then I'm going to use the up arrows just to just to nudge it up a bit one two three four five seems like it works well so we're going to leave it at that that spot there and now let's turn on the oval layer here uh, which already seems to be previously lined up correctly again we look at elements uh, the overlays are suggesting we eliminate these buttermilk clouds are a big reason why I chose the vertical orientation for this image the overlay suggests we crop out some of the best parts at the top. And since the clouds are not really the subject, just part of the supporting cast, we could lose some of them for the greater good. This time we're keeping the blown out sun, yet I still like how it seems like a light bulb, maybe more so in the reflection down here. This part of another tree on the side uh, might be eliminated through the choice of many of you, and there are a lot of ways to do that, but I'll keep it, mostly because I like it. It seems to somehow allow the main tree to occupy center stage but also because it's easier and this video is about cropping, not the stamp tool, content aware, magic erasers, or wands, or any of that. Okay, let's turn off these other overlays here uh, before we activate the last one, the pentagram overlay, and, and then we'll activate that layer just to, uh, just to make sure that what we do, we do to this layer alone. It's similar to the oval overlay here. The, the golden pentagrams line up nicely with the golden ratio, and they, and they also frame the tree. So why do we have these, uh, these pentagrams and ovals, all of these overlays for that matter? We could easily crop to the same result with just the golden mean overlays, from which we could pretty much imagine all the others, but it's still fun to see how things line up. Uh, like how the sun almost makes it into the outer pentagram, how nearly the whole tree is within the middle one and the side points of it hit the horizon. The, the top point of the lower pentagram points to the horizon line while enclosing the tree trunk in its reflection. We could say, well, yes, yeah, so, so what? Well, that's pretty much the crux of this whole series of cropping with the golden overlays, that we naturally have an affection for these numbers in our emotional ability to enjoy what we see. It, it's what keeps the viewer's eyes on your photo. We have all the extra overlays just to amuse ourselves, congratulate ourselves if we prefer taking credit, or being amazed at how these results are a natural connection with some cosmic creativity. Well, enough of this jibber-jabber. Let's just crop it. First, uh, we'll take off the pentagram layer. We won't need that. Uh, the golden ratio layer has a much more defined edge that we can crop to. So we'll hit the uh, keyboard shortcut C to bring up the crop tool uh, or select this icon over here. And we'll change our, our uh, ratio then to a 2 to 3 for the vertical cropping. Uh, bring it in, line it up kind of. And then I'll just double click right in here to crop it. And take off the, uh, the, the overlay layer, save it as a JPEG, a vertical version in this case, and don't you love these songs? And B, and then that way we'll be able to uh, uh, compare it in the ACDC program. Okay, first in the landscape version, this is the, uh, the original and the crop version. And the crop version does appear a little bit better, and I, I would agree with that. But I, I think in this case here, I, I, I do miss some of this energy from the upper left that I mentioned here. And, um, and, and some of this dark area that I like swirling around the bottom here. Some of this wave activity that uh, is now lost in the, in the new one, or whatever it is, the reflection from the sky there. So yes, I do like this a little bit better. It's, uh, it seems, seems better. Uh, and, and, the ver and the vertical version... Uh, not much difference between the original and the crop version. Essentially, we're just losing some of this, uh, what I did like, the, the spacing in between the clouds up at the top here. But uh, uh, overall, I think both of them do look uh, better in the crop version. I was playing around with the Phymatic software in this uh, non-layer version of ACDC that I have, and I wanted to share some of that with you. This is our crop version, the horizontal version we have that we cropped uh, to the golden ratio. And I wanted to concentrate on just the left half of it here. And, and make a vertical version out of it, which I, I, I like probably better than I do the, the, the uh, landscape version. 
Uh, here on the crop version, I can see that the, the activity of the birds in, on, along the horizon line is much more evident. It's actually part of the photo here. We're here. It may not be, and certainly not at all on the, on the right-hand side. So I, I do like that version better. But when I made the vertical version out of the, the landscape, I decided to take the uh, vertical version, the original ver version that we have of the vertical cropped, and, uh, and make a landscape version out of it. Now this one here has the, the overlay of the rule of thirds, and this one is, or I'm sorry, that's the, the golden ratio, and this one is the crop to the rule of thirds, which out of all of the photos that we made from this, these two trees, these two photos that, uh, it's one tree, but the two photos that really are not great photos to begin with, this, uh, this is my favorite. So it's kind of ironic that in this series of uh, uh, using the golden ratio that I end up with the rule of thirds crop as my favorite on this particular version. But anyway, I have one more, more video to uh, make for this series, and then I'm going to work on uh, some, some with the Phymatic software.